from Palestine. Uh, I came for, to Bangladesh to join the People Health Movement, movement uh, as General Assembly, uh, representing my uh, organization, which is called Health Work Committee. Uh, I came here to, uh, to this assembly to address the issue of uh, incubation, as uh, Palestine is under incubation since a long time. Uh, more than 71 uh, years uh, is in, uh, uh, because of Nakba, uh, since uh, when uh, the Israeli uh, occupied the area of 1948 and after that, uh, on 1976, an incubation for the rest of Palestine, which is uh, West Bank and Gaza. Uh, talking about incubation and health, we, we consider as a Palestinian that uh, incubation and the uh, practices and policies of the Israeli occupation considered the first and the most important factor that affect our health uh, situation in Palestine. Uh, the Palestinian uh, Authority uh, control only 18% uh, of the Palestinian land in, uh, in West Bank and 62% uh, 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 of the land uh, it's under the control in, the, in West Bank. It's called Area C according to Area uh, to Oslo Accord. Uh, accord. Uh, it's under the control of the, uh, the Israeli, and um, around 23 of the land is uh, considered to be Area B, which is under the security control between the Israeli and the Palestinian part. Uh, the most important thing that the Area C, uh, which is consists 62 percent. Uh, of the land, uh, it's rich land with natural resources that the Palestinian people they can't uh, uh, utilize their resources in the natural, whether it's water or, or land for agriculture. Because uh, when we are talking on health and talking about social economic status, mean that people they should uh, have an access to their land, access to water, access to uh, health services. Uh, uh, they have an access to hospital and the, uh, to education, uh, no poverty, uh, they have jobs. But all these factors, because of incubation, is intensified. You know that uh, Gaza uh, now is under siege for uh, more than uh, 11 years, and uh, it was uh, subject for three wars. The last one is in 2014. Uh, this condition uh, uh, proposed that Gaza, this is according to the international humanitarian uh, report, that will be uh, a place it is not uh, uh, suitable uh, uh, to continue life uh, in, uh, inside uh, Gaza. Uh, Gaza suffered from a lot of problems, mainly the problem related to the infrastructure, the related to water, related to electricity. For example, uh, nine, uh, uh, nine from uh, uh, ten, for example, uh, they couldn't uh, reach uh, suitable drinking water, which means there is a, a high contamination of water and shortage of uh, suitable uh, drip for drinkable water. Uh, the other uh, problem is the electricity. The electricity, for example, uh, the uh, bare, bare day, uh, 16 hours people living with, uh, without any electricity. What is the effect of this, uh, this uh, appropriate infrastructure on uh, the health status means a lot. Uh, you know, the hospitals, the, the clinics will not be operated without uh, kind of uh, electricity. Uh, this will mean uh, that uh, the, uh, the equipment that needed for uh, dialysis, uh, for uh, operation, room operation for neonatal unit or for uh, intensive care units will, will uh, be disrupted. Uh, that's why um, the hospitals and the primary clinic, they should ha always have uh, generators. And when they need uh, generators, it's hard because of the, cl the closure uh, of, the, uh, uh, of, the, the, of the points uh, that enter Gaza through Rafah or uh, through Ares, uh, the Israeli side and the Egyptian side, is always closed and it needs a lot of uh, uh, procedures and permits uh, for that. Uh, the goats, uh, the, uh, the, the, the spares for uh, maintenance, uh, it's difficult. And the fuel uh, for, uh, and the gasoline to, be, to enter Jerusalem uh, is very difficult. Uh, and uh, it's always there is a crisis in the availability of, uh, of uh, gases and uh, gasoline, uh, uh, and, 
yeah, gases in general to be used for the cars, for the equipments, for the hospitals and uh, the machines there and also to repair and the maintenance, uh, it's really a, a problem. Uh, the war and the difficult situation and the demolition uh, of the house because of the, uh, the war and the attacks uh, left uh, till now 4,000 uh, family without, uh, they are living in tents, more than 4,600 uh, families, they, are, uh, they, don't have, they do not have any kind of shelter. There is a lot of uh, children without mother or father because they are killed during uh, the war. Uh, more, uh, new cases of disability uh, considered around uh, uh, 44,000 of disabled people because of the shooting and attacking and uh, the uh, uh, from the uh, uh, Israeli uh, uh, side. Um, Ministry of Health in, si in Gaza said that uh, the, every month we have a 30% deficit uh, from uh, unable to cover the cases uh, and the treating uh, the people or providing uh, uh, medication. Uh, there is always shortage of uh, uh, staff, uh, of consumer, medical consumables, medication, essential medication drugs for uh, uh, people for uh, chronic disease patient, the, uh, the, uh, the movement from Gaza to, uh, to Jerusalem or West Bank for treatment is very hard. As I, I said, they need a longer procedure to uh, get out and people, they lost their life while they are waiting to be treated outside uh, Gaza. Uh, that means uh, when, when we are talking about uh, Gaza, we are talking about everything is uh, destroyed, everything, uh, the, the infrastructure, the hospitals, the education system is not uh, uh, sustained because of this uh, situation, because of this prolonged siege. Uh, part of the um, uh, incubation practice is the existence of a checkpoints, uh, the persistence one and the, the, the temporal one. And there is also uh, a big gates uh, that people go through a long procedure to be uh, checked for their uh, physical and their ideas and sometimes they will return back. Uh, it is a problem for Palestinian. It's a problem for health because when we want we, the patient want to access hospitals, they need to go through this kind of procedure. This means the, the delay in treatment. This means not on appropriate time, on appropriate appropriate place. Also, uh, uh, it's known uh, uh, Jerusalem area. It's one of the uh, uh, any place. Uh, that uh, are surrounded with a settlement and need a lot of permission to enter Jerusalem. Uh, plus, inside Jerusalem, there is a six uh, Arab Palestinian uh, hospitals that usually we utilize it for advanced treatment and advanced uh, uh, and for suffocated cases like cancer patient, patient they need dialysis, and so on. Uh, all people coming from Gaza and West Bank, they utilize these uh, Arab hospitals inside Jerusalem because of the blockade, because of the checkpoints, because of the security procedures. Most of the Palestinians, they need to get security permission from the Israeli side to, uh, to be able to be treated inside the, these hospitals. Uh, the, the latest um, uh, report says that uh, only 60% from the people who ab apply for security uh, permission, they get this permission. 40% they do not get this permission. It's harder also for Gazan people. Uh, Gazan people still, they, they suffer double uh, because they need to do interview. Uh, one of the problems that we face as a medical professionals, professions and staff, uh, not only the patient, also the uh, uh, the health team, uh, the, uh, the uh, ambulances, uh, the uh, transportation of uh, uh, the medical team, uh, uh, sometimes they, they stop them in the checkpoints. Uh, they, sometimes we couldn't enter the area that we are going to serve. Uh, they arrest uh, the doctors, the nurses, uh, and they, uh, always there is a delay uh, for the team uh, uh, when they uh, cross uh, the checkpoints to go to the rem remote uh, area to serve and help the people uh, because they do not have the services there. Um, uh, also, the Red Crescent document many uh, uh, attacks on the ambulances, 
uh, they shoot the, uh, the, uh, the patient, mainly the injured uh, patient when there is administration. Uh, sometimes also they delay them. Uh, and also uh, uh, since uh, March uh, uh, 2018, uh, they start uh, the uh, Friday uh, demonstration for a great return. It's our right for return uh, because uh, most of 80% uh, of the uh, Palestinian uh, people living in Gaza are uh, uh, originally they are refugees. And uh, you know, refugees consist uh, about 50% of the Palestinian population. And uh, this is our right, and uh, we want to defend our right. And uh, this is uh, part of to respond to Donald uh, Trump uh, decision. Uh, one of them is, uh, uh, you know, after they uh, transfer the, the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, this is against all, all the agreement. Jerusalem, the East Jerusalem is. Uh, according to the uh, agreement, it is, uh, will be for uh, uh, Palestinian. It is our right that Jerusalem is the capital for Palestine. And uh, when there is uh, a claim from U.S. that uh, uh, the embassy is, uh, will be in, the, in Israel, inside Jerusalem, this, uh, this means that uh, uh, nobody should negotiate about uh, Jerusalem, and Jerusalem is uh, totally for the Israeli. The second uh, uh, decision, uh, it's the cut of uh, the, uh, the financial support for the UNORWA, UNORWA which uh, provides the services, the education, the social and health services for Palestinian refugees, uh, whether in Gaza or uh, in Palestine. And the uh, U.S., they will not pay their, uh, uh, their share, so that will be a severe cut on the uh, services that uh, will be provided uh, for the uh, Palestinians with are in Gaza, uh, mainly the refugees. This is the situation in general, and we know that uh, uh, mainly in Gaza, the situation, mainly the health, it will be uh, more and more deteriorated with these all the circumstances, with the cut of the Anorwa services, uh, and uh, we hope that we should move, uh, and we need more solidarity from the international community, from the people uh, in uh, and uh, not only from the governments and also from uh, the people to raise their voice uh, for more uh, justice and more equality uh, for uh, Palestinian uh, living under occupation. <laughs>